Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Mondo Moors. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a minute, um, but you know I had a couple of things going on um, in my life. Uh, well, you know, my uncle passed away from coronavirus, so that kind of little took a little, you know, toll on me. But you know, he's in a better place right now, so that's all we could do is you know just pray and you know make sure nobody else in the family. Guess the coronavirus and it's freaking crazy, you know. Um, also, I did switch um, garages. So if you guys know, if you guys been following me for a minute, you know I had that little hole in the wall, little entrance, you know, towards the back. But look what I got now. Hey, hey it's a little disorganized. I still haven't had a chance to organize. If you guys can see, I am putting up the shelves here putting parts up okay now my box is there table you see the shelves I actually got those shelves over in um, Home Depot Home Depot for 30 bucks and they're really sturdy so I'm, I was really surprised they're really cheap so yes I do have everything just thrown on top um, this is a 10 by 20 so I literally have one two three four five tractors in here you guys can't really see you know but um, that's what I'm gonna do today um, I'm actually gonna try to organize everything I have here um, I have I do have a tons of parts so those parts I actually gonna start selling them on eBay put them on the shelf and um, and I actually start working on a motor here. Um, it was actually one of the Troy builds. The Troy build track that I had, the motor uh, actually went out. Sorry, guys. I'm going to organize this a little bit more. There you go. Actually, it didn't go out. Sorry. So this is what happened to that. To was the Intec. This is Intec. That's just a lot of problems with them. It's crazy. So this was eaten up okay so when you turn when you, when you when you turn the motor on this is like uh, what was it? my boy said the compression ring so this it, it, I guess it looked like a counterweight basically okay um, it's eaten up you guys can really see all this is eaten up compared to to the new one so the new one I bought um, I had an old one but I think I, I got rid of it. So I put a new one in there. I timed it. So um, I actually been waiting two freaky weeks for a rebuild kit. You know, so my boy Henry said I could get more money if I just rebuild the motor. So basically that's what I'm gonna do today is uh, throw some rings on it. Um, you know, all new seals, new head gasket, new everything. Hopefully I get, you know, good top money for it. So basically, I'm gonna take pictures of me rebuilding it. So when I do post it up, um, they can see the process in rebuilding the engine. Basically, it's gonna be brand new, you know. And this one does goes on the Troy build here I have. So um, and uh, lately, I actually picked up a uh, Scott um, Scott's tractor. So. If I could turn this this way a little bit, you guys can see it's kind of hidden here. I have it under the stuff, of course. So you see it there. So that's the hood. You see that engine there, all right? So basically, uh, I will actually thank my boy uh, Doug for it because he he hit me up for it. And, uh, well, he gave me the info of the guy, basically. And told me the guy was giving it away. So, I went over there, picked it up. It has no compression. Fuel, okay. Spark, beautiful. Zero compression. Okay. Um, it doesn't sound like a thrown rod, neither. Um, you hear... You hear compression, you know, but nothing coming out of the exhaust port. So when you turn it, you hear 
like the uh, a suction so either I don't even know I never dealt with this type of engine so I mean it could be a ring honestly that's what I'm thinking it, it could be a, could be the rings um, but that's gonna be a later project I gotta take the head off and see what, where we're at and all that but you know today it's gonna be working on working on this engine um, working on a, another Craftsman I have in the back um, I also picked up these three lawnmowers for free one two and three which I already cleaned up one and I think you guys coming today and um, he offered me 175 I wanted 235 for it um, I cleaned it up really good and you know make it basically I made it look brand new so uh, let's see if he comes through I do have another one there with a Predator engine in it actually brand new too it's crazy um, the deck everything's good but uh, it needs some paint so I'm really debating I mean I could sell it like that maybe you know maybe 80 bucks or I could repaint it and make an extra 30 40 dollars you know so that's what I'm really aiming for you know uh, brand new engine like I said I'm I'm really thinking just painting it painted it over the deck painting the deck over and just make it look make it look new you know and the other one that weed eater uh, I don't you know clean the carb it does start but it runs like crap so uh, most likely clean the carb I gotta change the wheel on it clean it up I don't know sold it for like 50 bucks 40 bucks I don't, get it. I don't care it was free anyway anything you know so uh yeah we'll we'll see how the how the day goes and um well first of all is get the garage cleaned and organized so let's let me do that because I want to bore you guys with that so uh that's what I'm gonna do all right guys so spent about two hours trying to do what I was trying to do in the in the garage so I got it cleaned up uh, well not my workstation I gotta I gotta organize my tools and all that stuff but I've made a lot of space um, <clears throat> I have all my my shelves uh, parts things I'm gonna sell on eBay um, you know on this side got the bike motorcycle sitting there a few things decks in the back these lawnmowers will be gone today I got a few people coming um, I got the three tractors on this side so that's the that's the Scots and then I got two uh, Craftsman LT 1000s um, actually one with a uh, turbo twin I'm um, sitting in the back, which I think the engine's bad, but I do have another post twin there that I can slap it on. But yeah, this is my garage. You know, had an upgrade. Um, I was getting too much stuff. Um, I did pick up a couple things for free, and that is one of them. So I did pick up this Craftsman for free. 18 horsepower twin. Um, charging that battery. See if it starts up. Listen, if it starts up, I'm literally just. If I can get the engine going, great. If not, you know, it is what it is. Screw it. But I'll, you know, try to make a little flip on it. So we'll see. Uh, but I do hear the clicking. So I I think that I think the starter might be seized. So what I want to do is take off, I'm going to take off the starter, um, well I might be not take it off, just take off the cover, spray a little uh, uh, penetrated oil and um, you know see if it unseizes and like I said if I can get this going I'll clean it up and, and post it for a hundred bucks, I don't care it was free. I got that one free and I got that, that Craftsman back there with the blown uh, post twin on it, it was free. Plus, out of that deal, I got a third bike, which I sold 
uh, for $200. Uh, and the guy gave me four bagger systems. So I sold two, and I'm going to keep two, to uh, put on the two craftsmen. Because, you know, with bagger system, you get a little bit more money for it. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take off the cover, spray, and let's see if we can get it going. All right, guys, so I had to take out the starter. The starter was completely, like, uh, uh, ceased. So I took it out. I didn't want to bore you guys that something that took me, like, an hour and a half to do. I literally sprayed uh, penetrating oil, moved it, moved it, moved it, moved it, moved it, moved it, kept moving it. And finally... I got enough that uh, yeah, I tested on the bench, so, so it started up. So I already installed it back here, but I'm gonna try it on. See what happens here. All right, guys, a little close up there. Let's see if it if it works. Oh yeah, how you like that? Alright, so we know the starter's working. So let's give it some go go juice. Let's see what happens here. Wow, are you kidding me? Holy crap, guys. It actually started. Not bad. Uh, wow, I'm gonna check the oil. I'm gonna throw some fresh gas. Let's see if it stays running. Might never know. Probably be an easy flip. All right, guys, so um, I took off the carburetor off that, uh, off the Craftsman. And um, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's, it's no good anyway. Uh, not, not the car, but the, it, it has like a little pump to it. So I'm going to have to order the pump. Um, I took apart the carburetor. It looked fine to me. Uh, but just to be safe, I'm going to order the, the pump and the new carburetor to it. So um, that project will be on hold until I get the parts in but I did get uh, the rebuild kit, which I have here for the other engine. And this is a 17, what, 17.5? Yeah, 17.5 uh, Briggs Stratton Intec. Uh, so this is the, this is the kit. Uh, Henry told me about it over in, uh, over in um, Moors and Blowers. So if you guys need to know, that is the part number. Sorry, it's a little windy today. Uh, but yeah, this brings everything to it. Uh, I already put the cam in here. I'm literally just gonna clean up, clean this up here. And uh, clean this up here, take all the old gasket off, try to clean it up as much as possible. And then change the oil seal here. And uh, hopefully, Hopefully we could we could install it. So we'll see. Popped out the the oil still here. <sighs> See how clean it came out? Nice and spotless. Now this little bad boy out. So 
has a new seat. Push it a little bit more. Um, I have to look for something. See if I was at work. I got big sockets over there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to find something that is equal to this. I can push it, push it a little bit, a little further down. So uh, let's look around and see what we can find. So I found something. <laughs> a bow from the carburetor. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this should work. Cause it fits perfectly in there. is even that's gonna work for now and uh, so we'll see what else we have in this in this kit that maybe goes in here um, we'll see let's see what we got all right guys so we are gonna put the gasket down and it should go like this maybe maybe so Damn, look how beautiful that looks. So, just to be safe, I'm gonna put some of this spray, a gasket sealant. I'm actually gonna put it on both sides. Just gonna make sure it works. Put the cover on, which I'm going to spray the cover to. And it is on timing, guys. It is on timing. Uh, 
Does it go like this? Yes, it does. Wait a minute, guys. You know what I want to do? Let's uh, let's drop some oil in there, just to make sure everything is lubricated. Bear with me. I'm trying to look for my oil. I know this is not the right way to do it, but this is the only way we know. Just make sure, you know, a little bit of lubrication in there <clears throat> never hurts. All right, some lube here to slide in perfectly. back from turning. <clears throat> oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at the mistake. The big mistake I was going to do. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Look at that. Oh man, the big boo boo I was going to do. All right, guys, so I had to make a phone call to uh, my boy, uh, Mr. Hatcher. And basically what I kind of figured was wrong was for the oil pump. So I took off the cover, right? I slid it in, the oil pump popped up. But then I spin it, okay? Spin it around, and it slid right in. Now we had no problem. All right, guys, so... Let's take this motor and mount it on there. I am going to do, I am going to do a valve adjustment on this. So. Alright. So far so good.
How's it guys? <clears throat> I'm doing this. I'm literally just putting this for now. Um, it is a synthetic. Um, but this is a car quest. A little cheap shit, you know. Um, basically what I'm going to do, once I get it running, I'll, I'll run it, you know, for like 5-10 minutes. Um, then I'm going to drain the oil again to make sure all the dirt and everything comes out. I did clean it. But, you know, to make sure I don't want anything else happening to it, I'll drain it and re and do the oil change. I'll put a new filter on, do everything to it. So, we'll see from there. Uh, the bolts for this is. It's somewhere. Alright, so I'm going to have to cut for a second, guys. I got to look for the bolts. Uh, so I can mount the engine. Bolt, excuse me, bolt the engine down. Uh, let me look for them. Alright, guys, so we'll see if it worked or not. Uh-oh. Same problem. And that's after... Switching the can. All right. Uh, let's take out the spark plug. Uh, maybe we need a valve adjustment real quick. Uh, let's see if that works. All right, guys. I took off the spark plug. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens here. So it, it did have a little oil in there. Um, I don't know if if that was enough to uh, to stop it. But let's uh, get the oil off the spark plug. Let's restart. crazy guys look at that look at that hell of a compression in there what the heck all right let's do a valve adjustment here hopefully that fixes the problem but I already did a valve adjustment a couple of times and uh, and we'll see. I mean, I, I really don't think that's, that's the issue, man. Listen guys, comment below. Tell me what you might think it is. Like I said, I changed, I changed the cam. Okay, I'm gonna do a valve adjustment now. This shouldn't be no possibility of this having so much compression.
Let's bring this up to the top, top of that center. Top dead center right there, guys. All right. This camp looks, this adjustment looks great on it, man. This is crazy. All right, guys. It. That's on point. That's literally on point. Wow. I don't I don't get it. I mean, this is slides in perfect. I mean, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's on point, guys. That is on point. Tighten this up a little bit more here. you guys the compression is crazy <sighs> look at that I don't know guys 
I really don't know. This is crazy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. New cam. Adjust the valves. I'm really lost. I, I never never seen this happen before. Um, shit. I don't know, guys. Hey, leave me some comments. Um, let me know what you think it could be. Um, and and we take it from there, I guess. You know. But it's crazy. Alright, I, I don't know what else to do here, so uh this is this is where we ended. Uh I got some daddy do duties to go to right now. Um so thank you for tuning in. Um like I said guys, leave me some comments, let's try to figure this out to get this going. Another nice score. This one got Guys, welcome to Mind the Moors. Um, today, on the Moors once again. Um, today is Sunday.